Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Android 12 Beta 3 on your Redmi Note 5 Pro and I will be talking about the changes which have happened in the Android 12 Beta 3. Also, I will give you a quick installation of the same. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, first of all, I'm really sorry about not uploading any videos in the last 6 to 7 months. Also, I was not replying to any comments. So, sorry for that. Let's continue with this video and hopefully I will be uploading uh, videos consistently now. So yeah, hope for that. So now starting with the changes in Android 12 Beta 3, the first change you will see is in the settings app. Now, as you can see, the settings app dashboard has been changed. Uh, changed by, I mean, it uh, went back to Android 8. Like, I mean, with the colors and all that stuff. As you can see, it has turned fully into grayscale and all that color stuff is gone so it looks really neat and clean for me actually so this is a really good change which i found in android 12 beta 3 now the second change i want to show you is the scrolling screenshots now first of all let's take a screenshot and you will have an option of capture more now this is much better capture more will let you capture any part of your screen so let's capture this and if you want this part as you can see i captured the screen here i can take this part too and then you can just save and you have captured that part of the screen you can also capture the upper part i don't know if there's a limit let's see capture more and you can move up to the network and uh, internet options I don't know why this setting option is not coming. Let's take another screenshot here. And it shows you the, okay. It is not showing you the header. So I don't know if it's something related to privacy or your profile or something, but yeah, the header, the setting part is not coming. Only the uh, options of the settings are being visible in the screenshot. So. Yeah, that is how the scrolling screenshots are. Our next change is about theming. Let's go into settings. Then you have this wallpaper and style options and you will see a redesigned menu for the wallpapers and styles. Then first option is change wallpapers and you have a lot of uh, wallpapers. Also, this screen is redesigned and as you can see, you will have this my photos preview and I have these walls you can easily set. Um, let's go back then here we have some theming options wallpaper colors and you can choose between the wallpaper wallpaper colors and the basic colors and it depends on your wallpaper also i guess but it suggests some basic colors for you so i have set this one also you can theme icons like this so your icons uh the default whichever are supported will change and mostly are the google ones but it only changed in the home screen part so i guess that's how it is and let's disable that to get it normal then we have a dark theme option app grid option and we have up to uh, 22 to 5 to 5 options for the app grid continuing with the theming part going into gboard the gboard has also been changed and if you go into the theme uh, as you can see this is how the gboard looks now a little bit redesigned uh, material u changes are being seen and you will also have theming options later on so yeah some users are getting the theming options and some users will get it soon so yeah the next feature is to quickly copy links from tabs the recent apps so let's assume i have a link open this is the end of 12 beta 3 change log from xta developers now if i have this in focus like just let me just get it done quickly now as you can see you can quickly share the url of the open tab share and you will have sharing options and you can share it right away now the next change we see is to disable the swipe to invoke google assistant gesture so for that we have to go into system then we have to go into gestures and system navigation gesture navigation settings and here we have an option swipe to invoke the assistant if we disable this, no longer the assistant is getting in. As you can see, this is how the assistant gets uh, called out. So just disable that. Oh, sorry. 
and there are no issues now as you can see it's disabled so that's a great addition one more handy change you see in android 12 beta 3 is quickly turning on and off the internet now when you get this internet option tab where you can choose to connect to wi-fi or the mobile data you also have an option to quickly turn off the wi-fi in case you don't want to use internet at all and then quickly turn on the wi-fi so this is a good addition in beta 3 now there's one more visual change which i like to show you is about the fingerprint animation there's a new animation here as you can see you will see this uh, water touching ripple effect here even if i have the screen turned off or turned on doesn't matter it's a new animation so yeah just a few additions into the android 12 so i hope you guys have liked this video and that is it to cover up with the features there are a lot more small changes some big changes which i could not cover because it was limited due to the device so yep that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to check the installation you can continue the further part of the video or you can just check the description if you are a pro android flasher so yep that's it let's move towards the installation now first of all you have to boot into your twrp recovery then make sure you have the partitions data and cache uh, formatted as f2fs my data and cache partitions are formatted as f2fs if you have not changed your data and cache to f2fs just do these steps just click any one any one of them for first go to change file system click on f2fs and it will format do the same for a cache and just reboot your device back to recovery move your files and continue with the same like i'm doing the first then the next step is to wipe wipe dalvik cache data system vendor yeah this is a bit then go to install and you just have to install the pixel 3a beta 3 and wait for it to get flashed the installation is done now let's reboot system and you will quickly boot into your pixel uh sorry android 12 beta 3 from pixel 3a so yep that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video on your redmi note 5 pro so yep that's it bye bye like share subscribe comment what you want you can do everything is free and everything is free at will so yeah bye bye see you guys soon